let's go ahead and now go over to the Sony TD10 clips. And what we're going to do first is let's create a new sequence folder and let's go ahead and call that Sony. And these can mix on the same timeline, it doesn't make any difference. I'm going to put that sequence clip in my root folder. I like to keep them all there so it's easier to find. So right click, add files for Sony. Open up the Sony folder. We've imported them in. Let's select all of our MTS files. Now the interesting thing about Sony is that Sony is using the MVC codec and in fact the new uh, Panasonic uh, Z10000 also uses this codec. It definitely is the, the wave of the future uh, for 3D because you can view it as either 2D or 3D depending upon the device that you're seeing and it reads it automatically and it shows it automatically as I bring these in the stereoscopic is enabled because it knows that they're MVC it knows that they're 3D so now all we have to do is very simply just add these all to the timeline it's just that simple there's no making stereoscopic pairs with the MVC Kodak and again here's a uh, here's a motion shot here uh, let's just go ahead and play this and you see everything is in sync all right so let's move on to our next subject let's go back here to the root directory we're gonna make another sequence right away so we have sequence 3 let's right click on it let's change the name let's call it nano flash 3d And let's go back here to the Nano Flash folder and let's bring in some Nano Flash files. Now, Nano Flash records at a much higher bit rate and it's recording with, uh, let's go just bring in set four. Uh, we're using the, on this particular one, we're, we can, we're using the MXF uh, file format, which is a Sony RAW codec. Uh, you can also record as MOVs, whichever you prefer. I like the Sony codec. And I'm recording 422 10-bit, and I'm recording at 180 megabits per second. So these are pretty hefty size files. I've set this up to begin with L for all my left files. So Control A, let's bring those in. And let's switch over our view and bring up that thumbnail large so we just have a little bit of space to go ahead and uh, right click and, and click uh, add file you can also use the shortcut key and just click control and and O and it will also bring them in and again let's go in here uh, let's go to set four let's open up the right ones let's select it control a for all of them and bring them in now we're gonna go back to the other view detail text large okay so we've got all our left and here's all our right. Let's do our little trick of clicking on end time code. And there they are paired up. And we're gonna select, set a stereoscopic. And again, you're gonna notice as we go through these, our motion is following. So we know that we're in sync. So we're gonna leave it on in frame for right now. We're gonna click okay. And now what we're going to do is let's throw these on the timeline and take a quick look at them to verify. Let's turn off this audio for a second. And here's a good one of the eagle and silhouette here. This is the Eagle Festival in Mongolia, Western Mongolia. And there you can see everything's running in perfect sync. So next, let's go to the GoPro 3D.